I want to talk about synchronicities. Uh, something happened to me just this past weekend uh, that's it, it was a coincidence beyond coincidences. And and these kind of things apparently happen, you know, uh, my, my in my case it was a it was just a a minor uh coincidence i would say i mean in, in my mind it was pretty big for me personally it was just wow that was weird right however there are some synchronicities that have happened through uh, coincidences a weird synchronicity that has happened uh you know throughout time that are just wow that's a head scratcher i can't believe that happened um and we'll get into that but i want to give you what happened to me over this past weekend it was friday night and i was laying in bed and uh I have this uh, Blu-ray collection. I have a Blu-ray collection of an old TV show from the 70s called Cold Shack, The Night Stalker. Now, some of you, most of you probably are, who listen to this probably don't even know what I'm talking about. Some of you, I'm sure you do know what I'm talking about. But anyway, this old TV show was about some newspaper reporter that uh, he, he, he invest, everything he investigates has some sort of supernatural bend to it, some supernatural angle to it. And uh, anyhow... I was watching, I put in the fourth disc and there was five episodes on that disc. I was laying in bed and I watched the first episode and the first episode was about some uh, woman that was draining the lives out of young people so she could stay young, you know, one of those kind of stories, okay? And I watched that whole first, I paid attention to it. Then the second episode was starting up, I think it was the second or the third episode and I just wasn't paying attention anymore. And I, got, I was just on my phone and I was on Google and I was doing some searches on different things and... Uh, you know how you go down a Google rabbit hole, basically, and you just one thing leads to another, leads to another. You don't even know where you're going to end up half the time. So I'm doing this Google search on the phone, and uh, and I, I end up uh, looking up this. Uh, it led me to some actor who died back in 1973 named Wally Cox. He was a he was a guy who did the if you if you ever saw the old cartoon Underdog from the 60s, he did the voice of Underdog. Uh, and so I'm reading about that, and then. Uh, uh, and then I went, and then I, I was I, I remembered that cartoon underdog. I was like, yeah, you know, I wonder about that uh, uh, Simon Bar Sinister. This guy was the main villain in Underdog, named Simon Bar Sinister. This crazy, sinister guy that was trying to take over the world all the time, and you know, and so I'm, I, I I wanted to find out where his name come name came from. And uh, actually, I also, beside, before I get on to that, the guy, Wally Cox, actually, he played in one of the pilot movies. There was two pilot movies made for this show I was watching, The Night Stalker. I found out that he actually played in the second pilot, and it was his last time he was ever in anything because he died right after it came out. But anyway, getting on with the rest of the story. So I'm reading up this guy. I'm like, why, why, why was his name Simon Bar Sinister? There must have been some joke behind that, cause, but I didn't get it. I didn't get the joke. Right, so I wanted to find out what a bar sinister was. What did that mean? And basically, it was a, a version of the, of the phrase "bend sinister." A bend sinister. I never heard of that until that night. Is actually like if you look at a, an old uh, image of a coat of arms on a on like a shield, like a like a, a family in the olden days, they would have a coat of arms, and you know, it would be like a lion or something on it, and. Uh, you know, it'd be like a basically a logo for your family. But if a coat of arms had a bar going through it, or what they would call a bend, that would mean that that would signify that that person, uh, that person's uh, uh, bend it would uh, would be called a bend sinister. That signifies that that person was a bastard, right? So that's basically Simon Bar sinister, meaning that the guy was, uh, you know, basically a bastard. That's what the joke was, I guess, in the cartoon. But at the moment. And I'm on the phone re reading about this Ben Sinister, right? Right when I had started reading about this on the TV show, which I had left playing in the background, it happened to be about an episode about uh, 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 an empty uh, uh, suit of armor coming to life and killing people, right? And Cole Shack's investigating in this, and he actually happens to go into some store where they're selling... Uh, uh, coats of armor symbols you know and he's and he asked the, the, the proprietor about this and the, and the proprietor tells oh that's a ben sinister at the same exact time when i'm reading about this and it had nothing to do with i mean what's the chances of that it just seems like a really crazy coincidence to me like i never heard of a ben sinister before here i'm reading about it for the first time and then it's unfolding on the tv show that i have that i have i'm watching at the same time i mean that was just strange coincidence to me 
you know, and I think that's all it could have been. It was just a coincidence or, you know, it, but sometimes things like this happen and it seems like it could be more of a coincidence, almost like there's some sort of cosmic trickster involved. And uh, there was diff different cases over the years. You could read about a lot of them online. And I want to talk about a couple of them here. For instance, one of the one of the more famous ones happened in 1900, uh, in, uh, involving King um, Umberto the First of Italy. Um, he went to a restaurant outside of Milan on July 28th, 1900. Right, the restaurant owner went to greet him, and they both realized that wow, we, we look like twins. They were like dead ringers for each other. Right, they couldn't they couldn't believe it. Uh, they also found out uh, that they were both born on the same day, March 14th, 1844, in the same town, right? And they also found out that they both married a woman named, women named Margarita on the same day, and they both had sons who were both named Vittorio, right? It was an unbelievable set of coincidences that were unfolding here in this restaurant on July 28th, 1900, between this restaurant owner and this King Umberto. Uh, they also they also found out on this day uh, when they're they're talking they're both in amazement or talking about this they both were decorated for bravery twice right uh, in 1866 and in 1870 both on the same days and they both attended the same and they were both uh, awarded these uh, uh, decorated for bravery at the same events they didn't know it but they were at the same events at the same ceremonies right. Uh, and the day that the king was coronated was happened to be the same day that this restaurant owner opened up his restaurant. The, the, it was just an incredible set of circumstances that was unfolding here. Uh, so the, the king, you know, was all excited and he asked this guy, this restaurant owner, uh, to attend this athletic event the next day on the 29th of uh, J July 29th, 1900. And then the guy, yeah, I'll, I'll be there, right? No problem, right? So on that next day, uh, the king was found out he was in a horse drawn in the carriage at the time and he and he asked one of his aides you know where's the restaurant owner he's supposed to be here and and, and his aide told him that you're not going to believe this but he 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 got killed this morning in a shooting accident right so the next minute right after he found this an assassin sticks a a, a gun inside the at that points it right at umberto and kills him shoots him all right, so, so they both ended up getting killed the next day, shot. It's it's unbelievable. You know, and how does something like that happen? You know, this this world is just a weird place. Let me tell you. Anyway, there was another thing that happened, and this is a different kind of, but it's still again, it's another weird coincidence, another weird sync, uh, uh, something how how this thing got synchronized like this, how the how this. Uh, possible cosmic trickster uh, decides to synchronize things like this who knows uh, if there is a cosmic trickster i'm just you know i'm just wondering but anyway edgar Allan poe in 1838 he wrote a story called the narrative of arthur gordon pym of nantucket and it was about three survivors of a shipwreck uh who murder another a fourth one and then to survive and they eat him to survive right and the guy that they murdered, his name was Richard Parker. Then, in 1884, there were three sailors who ended up, uh, who were shipwrecked, right? And they got charged with murdering a fourth sailor, because, and, and they ate him, right? They killed him and ate him. And the sailor's name? Richard Parker. Uh, how does it happen? There's some things in life, somehow... I don't know how this, there's these weird synchronicities that happen sometimes in life, and there's no explanation for it. Uh, I think, you know, what happened to me on that Friday night, uh, watching that show and at the same time reading that stuff on, I mean, I, I, again, I'm, in my, I'm, I'm 50, I'm going to be 54 years old soon, um, and I never in my life heard uh, the, the, the phrase uh, Ben Sinister. I, ne I didn't know what, the, what it meant. I've always, every now and then when I was a kid, I would see that Simon Bar Sinister and I would wonder, I wonder where he got his name from. So I ended up that night finally trying to look up what that guy's name was. And at the same time, as I'm learning that, what, what Ben Sinister means, they're on the show to talk. The guy says, that's a Ben Sinister. Right when I'm reading it, honest to God. It's just, and these kind of synchronicity things happen sometimes in life and it's there's no explanation for it. But it makes you wonder, you know, is there something else out there? I know this, obviously, I don't think this has anything to do with extraterrestrials. I know, of course, I talk about that all the time. I don't know what it, I don't know what it has to do with. I'm just talking about it because I don't understand it. 
Uh, are they just coincidences? Now, the one with King Umberto, just there's just so many different aspects to it that just are incredible. It just seems more than a coincidence, doesn't it? Um, I don't know. There's just some things in life that are just unexplainable. Somehow, things are connected, uh, and they don't make sense. I mean, I, I remember when I actually when I lived in Hawaii. Uh, I was there for a little over two years. I lived on the big island. It seemed to me there was, you know, every now and then you have uh, deja vu kind of stuff going on and uh, things like, I had all kinds of weird things like that going on when I was in Hawaii, more so than anywhere else in the world. I don't know what the reasoning was, but it just seemed like that. And there was also a lot of coincidences that would happen. Like I would think about something and then I, I get a phone call from my brother who was thousands and thousands of miles away in Pennsylvania calling me up and, and, and telling me about the thing that I'm just thinking about. For some reason, uh, these things happen. They don't make any sense. I don't know if there's anything, any kind of force behind it or maybe there's something that we're all connected somehow. Uh, I, I, don't know, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. Uh, I don't know. Maybe there is no answer, but it does seem like uh, there could be some force at work some people say it could be some cosmic trickster out there um i don't know i don't know but i just thought i'd mention it because it was a weird thing that happened to me and, and it made me think about some of these other stories that i've heard throughout the years where they're just these strange coincidences that don't make any sense at all